we've got the, the cover removed to gain access to the massage mechanism, and we have it in the engineering mode under the actuator test. Uh, under up, down for testing, you're going to use the legs up and down, back up and down buttons only to control the speeds of the up and down. Uh, don't use the other buttons, otherwise it will go very quickly for you. You're going to remove the white block covers. The white block covers, we're going to remove using the, the screws furthest away from them. The interior screws hold the white block to the black bracket. We want to move the, remove the bracket with the white block. So just unscrew these. They're just standard Phillips head screws. If you actually didn't have any of these or you lost one, I mean, these would be interchangeable with something that might be just floating around in your toolbox, and you'd be okay. And the bracket will slide off to the left. You can use a screwdriver to give it a little nudge from the side. It's just grease mounted in there. Once you have the opening, what we're going to do is we're going to tell the massage mechanism to travel up, and we're going to have it travel till it gets to this gap. Okay. And for here, you're going to the mechanism will fall out when it hits that top gap. So just find a spot on the mechanism that's safe for you to control it uh, without putting your hand directly on the top. You know, this motor might be a good one. Make sure you just don't have a grip from the top. And then you're also going to want to go as slow as you can up here. As you get to the top. Yeah, so I have the speed set to 20, and I'm using the minus button to do this instead of the plus button. The plus button is speed 50. The minus button is whatever speed you set UD for. So I have it set for 20 in there. And what this does, we, this just allows us to control the mechanism coming out. You've got a wheel with a, a washer and a spring. It goes spring steel washer wheel and then from here what we need to do is we need to get it out this gap right here so we're actually almost right there we're, we're pretty good so we're going to tell the mechanism to keep traveling up and go a little slower here and we need the bottom two wheels to reach the maximum as soon as you hear that noise you're there then it's just a matter of lifting up and I balance the massage mechanism on my knee on a toolbox anything like that because this cable you have limited length you can't set it on the ground so it only needs you know like six inches so setting your toolbox there will work really well at this point we can power off and unplug the chair if we want to um, if we're gonna do the mechanism for sure and we're not gonna test anything else uh, in this part, I would actually, for me, I would just unplug this and unscrew this. For safety purposes, I would recommend powering off and unplugging since one of these is a power wire and it's a hot wire. This is the power wire. The ground is right here. All four of these screws are acceptable grounding locations, communication cables right here. So you unplug this cable, this cable, undo this screw, and cut these zip ties. That will free the mechanism. So we'll just do this right now. So you can see we're free right there. Unplug the cables. And you can see they're a pretty good quality connection cable. There shouldn't be any hot glue blocking your way either. Ground wire is right there. To put in the new mechanism, we're just going to plug in the cables. We're going to reinstall the ground wire we're not going to put zip ties on yet we're going to wait to put the zip ties on until the massage mechanism is inside the chair so if you look we're going in we're going in back wheels first
level it. Yeah, you want it level. So you're going to kind of eyeball it to see what's level. You should know if something looks level if one slides into the track a little bit further than others. So this we look a little off. The left side's a little higher than the right side. So all we're going to do, we're going to shift it around a little bit. Sometimes I'll try to get the left side in lower. So yeah, we're still a little bit off. So a trick that you can do as well is, so you can see right now is a good example. I lowered it down just a hair. That one's in the track, that one's Stick sticking out. out of the track. So a good way to do this, to level them, is to tell it to go to the top. And then that should automatically level both sides. And then we'll slowly tell it to go down. Now they're level. And we're just gonna slowly tell it to go down and then once we get to here, just give it a little pull. It's still outside of the track, but now this will let us lower it down slowly until we're in this gap. Wheel spring. Yep, and then so we're gonna grab the, the washer. And this part, you might need to fiddle with it a little bit to get it just right. So we're gonna put the washer on. We're gonna put the new wheel on. Push those over as far as you can. Get that in the track. And then we're going to lower it down here. And once the wheels are below the yellow part, it's good. And at this point, very important to put these tracks back on. If you don't put these tracks back on, you'll end up with the mechanism falling out inside the backrest when you're testing it. So this is an important step. You should not skip. Just standard Phillips head screws. Yep. And we did remove these side clamps that were mounted right here. They're held in place by Phillips head screws. We removed these for ease of getting the massage mechanism out. So these again are just Phillips head screws. You would remove these before you do the massage mechanism. And one reason you can look why these slide out, you see the little wing at the top? So you can't just pull straight away. So they have to go in, yeah, they have to go in from the side. So if you undo the screws and just try to pull straight back, it, I mean, it'll never go. And what they put that little wing lip in there for is to keep it so that it'll glide smoothly across this area. So even though this is a different part, when the wheel rolls over it, it doesn't feel like a different part to the consumer. And it also makes it so that there's only one way to install it correctly. You can't do it wrong. And just pay attention that the teeth kind of match their alignment. Mm -hmm. So you got the teeth on the outside, teeth on the outside. Can you uh, misplace, let's say, once you take it out, you put them all together and then will they fit if you put the right one? On you the could put it so that the teeth face the inside and it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it wouldn't be as smooth and the upper, it, it wouldn't reach the upper limit the same way as if the teeth were mounted in there correctly. So once we've got this and these are all installed again, we're going to tell it to go up. And what we're doing is we're making sure that that sensor clicks and it stops on its own and we're putting the zip ties back on. So through here, we're just going through, new zip tie installation. Remember, zip ties are just there to hold things. They don't need to be extremely tight. Extremely tight zip ties will cause service issues. So 
So with that, I mean, we don't really have to, these ones aren't finesse connections when you're doing just the massage mechanism. It's zip ties are only a finesse thing when you're doing the wire harness. Okay. So you want to put a minimum of two zip ties. You'll have one big one and one small one at two different intervals to hold this in place. And again, they're just to hold it. So if you look, tidy, we've got the little loop right here. So the curve right here, curve down there, the new machine core is in place. Uh, you know, at this point, you can test the up and down. If you want to see, you know, hey, is this moving smoothly? This is one of those things that really, testing the up and down is very easy to do. I'm using the 50 speed, which is the plus button. So I'm sending it down on 50 to the bottom. Sending it up on 50 to the top. We can hear the sensor click when it reaches the bottom. We can hear the sensor click when it reaches the top. Every